everyone and welcome to Seller Mobile TV. Um, recently, we've had a lot of people reach out to us asking us questions about Amazon advertising. Um, as a lot of people know, Amazon Seller Mobile has a, um, a, an, analy an analytical tool that helps you understand your Amazon advertising. But um, so many of our, you know, especially in 2020, so many of our subscribers that have started um, are new to Amazon. You know, uh, people are talking about e-commerce, people are talking about the freedom to, you know, work from home and have that kind of security. Um, and so um, a lot of our uh, recent new subscribers have not really dipped their toes into Amazon advertising. And um, we like to bring content that is relevant and important to, to you know, our subscribers and, and, and um, Amazon sellers out there. So we have invited a very special guest with us here today, Gabriel. He is from Better AMS and he's gonna really take it down for us a bit and he is going to talk about the very, very basics of Amazon advertising. What is it? Why it can be beneficial for you um, to help you boost your sales, to help you, um, you know, make sure that you're making your mark on Amazon. And so, um, Gabriel, you have, you started your own Amazon business uh, about two and a half years ago. You ended up exiting that Amazon business very successfully. And um, while you were, you know, running your own Amazon business, you were doing Amazon advertising. So you learned sort of firsthand how it works, how it can be effective. Um, like earlier you were telling me that you had about 200 um, ASINs that you were working with, you were doing advertising on them, and you've learned a lot, right, about Amazon advertising. So um, can you share with us sort of the most basics about Amazon advertising? Yes, thank you for having me. Let me share my screen and I'll walk you guys through uh, everything about Amazon advertising basics. Wonderful. So. Um, this presentation, this deck of slides is built to help you get an in-depth introduction to Amazon advertising. We will cover Amazon sponsored ads, Amazon sponsored products, Amazon sponsored brands, sponsored display, and I'll, I, by the very end, I'll give you guys quick tips before launch, uh, before launching your first batch of campaigns. Awesome. And this will stay relevant probably for the next, for the next few months. So um, let's get started. All right. Uh, first, an intro to Amazon sponsored ads, or uh, just what is it, right? Amazon sponsored ads are the sponsored placements that a seller or vendor can place through the Amazon search and within product detail pages. So based off a search, you can place an ad for people to see it, or you can target products for people to see your ads below, the, below that their particular product. Now, how does it help? Well, it helps you draw more customers to your product listings, increase awareness, and generate sales while gathering data. So Amazon is a really powerful tool because Amazon really knows your customers or Amazon customers itself. So it is really interesting that you can pull data at the same time you generate sales and build that up in the process. So let's first talk about the sponsor ads in search. When you usually do a search on Amazon, it usually looks like this, right? You do a search and you get, um, products pop pop, but what you might not know is that all of what you just saw, it's ads. These are all, these are all ads, okay? You, you do a search and the first impression you get, it's all ads. There, there, there's a type of ad at the, at the top and there are four different ads at the bottom, but it's a completely different thing. Now, it's amazing that we're able to put our ads in front of customers when they do a search, because even though our product is new or even though it doesn't have reviews at all, we're able to place an ad uh, to the customer and make sure, and depending on, you know, price strategy and everything, the product is likely to convert or not. So that's how sponsor ads in search populate throughout Amazon marketplaces. If you do a search in Amazon Mexico, in Amazon Canada, in Amazon United Kingdom, it will look the exact same way. Now let's talk about sponsored ads in product detail pages. This is a bit bigger, I consider, but let's see. If you want to tell Amazon your product is just like a product in the marketplace, you have to run product targeting ads. What I mean by this is when you convert to an ASIN that you're targeting, Amazon will give you some index juice because you're telling Amazon, I'm just exactly like this product or this product can complement something that my product does. So don't leave product targeting at last. Actually, um, it, would, it would be 
part of my initial campaigns when launching a product because I want to tell Amazon, hey, my product is just like this product uh, and I want to make sure I get indexed for this particular product. So um, sponsored ads in product detail pages look like this and there are different kind of ads in certain product detail pages too. The majority of these ad types are on a CPC model, like cost per click model, the thing that probably you have been learning about, which means you only pay for the clicks you get, right? You get a certain amount of clicks, that click is based um, at a certain price and you pay that price for the total number of clicks. But there are a few more advanced ad types on a CPM model, which means you pay for every thousand views. Um, this ad, this, you only see this on sponsored display, which we will cover later in the presentation, but I want you, I want to, I want you to make sure to, to be aware of the CPM model as well, because it's, it's, it's kind of new and people are not talking about it at all. Now, you know how it looks from the outside, you know how it looks in search, you know how it looks in product detail pages. Now let's take a look at what are the benefits of running these types of campaigns first. There's no minimum spend, which means you can take a few dollars and run a campaign and spend $5, $10, $15. This makes the testing and scaling much easier, right? You can spend, you can, you can decide whether or not you wanna do, you wanna go aggressive or you wanna go conservative, you wanna only do, do a test or wait, or wait to a certain period of time to start running ads. Now, Amazon sponsored ads allow you to place an ad directly where your customers are shopping. This basically means what keywords or products you want to target. Running Amazon sponsored ads is a great way to improve your organic rank. There are a few, there are, there are only a few things that improve, that improve your organic rank. This is one of them. So don't leave, it at, don't leave it at last. Now let's get familiar with the different ad types available. We started only with sponsored products a couple of, a couple of years ago. And then we got sponsored brands, then we got sponsored display, and now we got sponsored brands video. Uh, and who knows what we will get next, but I'll show you guys what's available as of right now and why it's really important that you, that you guys start running these ads. So sponsor products, sponsor products look like this and you, and you can sometimes like when I wasn't involved in the Amazon PPC world, you, you, you get these ads served mixed with the organic results. So it, sometimes it looks like it's just like an organic result, but you will, know to differentiate it because it has a uh, sponsored gray letter lettering in at, at the top of the title okay the ad type most resembles an organic listing as i said and typically shows up throughout the search results if you are scrolling through amazon you will get these all ads served all the time and you will you'll see also these ad type on this pro, on, on the product detail page in the sponsored products related to section this ad type has the most available ad inventory. What that means is the ad you will see the most across Amazon and Amazon marketplaces. And it will typically make up around 70% of your total ad sales. Uh, why 70%? Well, this is what we have seen across the counts in the last few years. Normally sponsored products represent 70% of your total PPC sales or ad sales. This ad type has the ability to run into an auto campaign or a manual campaign, and you can target both keywords, categories of products with this ad type. Okay, now. Can you go back just one step? I think it'd be really helpful to clarify yeah. just what an auto campaign is and what a manual campaign is. Sure, sure. Uh, basically, what an auto campaign does is that uh, it will start delivering ads for what Amazon thinks is best for your product. This can either be uh, search terms or ASIN. And on a, manual on a manual campaign, what you're doing is you're manually adding the keywords and ASINs that you want to target. And you're telling Amazon, hey, I want to I wanna appear for this particular keyword or this particular ASIN, while what auto campaign will do is decide that for you. Got it. So, for, so the auto campaign is where Amazon is deciding for you what terms, uh, what keywords it wants to advertise for. It'll look at your listing and has sort of an algorithm that does that for you. Um, and then manual is uh, more specific. You're telling Amazon exactly what keywords you want to bid for um, in terms yeah. of advertising. Now, would you say is one better the, uh, than the other or do each of them have their own benefits? I would recommend if someone is just launching a product that they only started with manual targeting, 
just because you really want to tell Amazon, hey, my product is just really similar to this product or the keyword I want to rank for is this keyword. Uh, sometimes people like to start with low bid auto campaigns. I wouldn't recommend that unless uh, the seller has been able to gather uh, a few weeks of data because you don't know, you don't know where it's going to go. Like people, people make the mistake of, of starting with an auto campaign and the next thing they know is the search terms are full of filters or masks, right? Something like something COVID related because Amazon still doesn't know where to show your product. Got it. Okay. So sponsor brands. Here's when it gets, uh, well, here's where I'll give a bit of my, of my personal advice. As a seller, you get a great advantage if you're a brand registered. Why? Because it allows you to run two different ad units that are not available for people that are not brand registered. So if you are brand registered, you will be able to run sponsored brands and sponsored display. So everything we will cover from here on, brand registry is mandatory. So uh, sponsored brands look like this. It's a huge banner ad at the top of every search you do. The only issue with this kind of ad is that it, there's not a lot of ad inventory as with sponsored products. Uh, you only see it, you know, one ad at the top and sometimes a few ads at the very, very bottom. So as I said, it looks at the, it, it shows up at the very top of search or the very bottom or at the very, very bottom of the search results. This ad type can also show up on the product detail page in a new brands related to section. That section is really, I'll, I'll show that on the next slide. These Ad type typically has copy and is driving to a landing page with multiple ASINs or a store page. Typically, you need a minimum of three ASINs or a store page to run these ads. These ad type tends to make around 20% of total ad sales due to limited inventory. So uh, the, uh, the brands related to this category on Amazon looks like this. This is really, really new. Amazon has been testing you know, whether they put it at the top, right below the bullet points or at the middle, they're, they're, they're still A-B testing where, to, where they are going to place it. But I like this ad unit a lot because you can do custom image beta, which means you can adapt an image to your ad to make it more appeal for people to buy. Uh, well, first to click and then to end up buying. Um, and it, and, and you can compare here, for example, the, the uh, lifestyle image lifestyle image that Insure has here versus premium protein. Like which one would you like to, to get in terms of what looks more delicious and more chocolate, right? Well, this is, this is cookies and cream, but you, you, you get the point of what I'm saying. It looks more attractive. Sure. Now, uh, a bit more on sponsored brands. It puts more reliance on creative and branded exposure. You can also run self-serve video ads to a single async and landing page here. This is, this is not new, but it's something people are not capitalizing on a lot. And I would recommend if you have a product that you really love that's converting well, there is only one spot for a sponsored brand's video ads of now. And the people that are winning that ad placement are getting a 40 to 45% conversion rate. So it's really important to get a good video first, like really put the time and effort to produce a good video and then start running that campaign uh, for your best sellers or, or, or a product likewise to see how that would go. Uh, next is that this item can run keyword or category or product targeting, but it does not have auto targeting. So for this particular ad unit, as we, was, as we were discussing before, you could not let Amazon decide for you. You have to let Amazon know which keywords, which ASINs you want to target. Um, it also had more creative control with custom image beta, which is uh, the example we saw um, on the previous slides. And it allows you to add a lifestyle image to your ad. So it looks fantastic. It seems like running sponsored brands has a lot of benefits. And it's just because you get to see different variations of the same products you're advertising. Either it's a video, either it's a custom image, either it's a, a, a custom ad with a, with a catchy ad copy. And there's a sponsor. Is, anything yeah. now, is, there, um, is there a cost difference in doing sponsored product versus um, sponsored brands? There is a misconception that sponsored brands can be uh, a bit more expensive mm -hmm. because uh, there is there is a lot less inventory. The truth is that 
as long as the keyword research is done properly and the and the bits are set to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, to certain goals depending on whether it's profitability or whether it's more sales you can still get a, 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 a an ACL is really close to what you get on sponsored products got it okay yeah and uh, well you you will see the recommendations later on this presentation <laughs> Now, sponsor display. Again, brand registry is mandatory. If you have been selling on Amazon for the last two, three years and you still don't have your brand registered, this is the time to do it because Amazon will probably keep amplifying the ad inventory, but they will, they will make this restricted to people that have their brand registered only just because they, they want to make sure that you're not advertising someone else's product. Um, sponsor display, it's really interesting. I like it a lot because it distracts buyers a lot. You can distract a buyer from, from the, 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 the time they will do the purchase and it's because these ads show up right below the bullet points and right below the buy box. For a certain period of time, uh, Amazon removed the ad copy from these ads and, it, and they looked like this, but they added back again, which means you can add, uh, you know, add copy to these ad types. So, as I said, it shows under the buy box or, or as an off-platform ad. It has some of the most complex targeting options of all of the campaign types, just because these ad type in particular, it's based on a CPM model. Like you, you can, you can if, you, if you want to target an audience, for instance, you will be charged in a CPM model, which is really interesting. Um, and, I would be, and I would be careful if you're dipping your toes on this. Uh, you have the ability to target individual products, that's ASINs, categories, searches, views, and purchases. And this, app, this ad type typically makes up around 10% of total advertising sales. Something I would add is these ad type is particularly used a lot for um, defense, whether it's, yeah, product detail defense, because these ad particularly distracts buyers a lot based on reviews, based on price. People are, are likely to get um, to get distracted by these products. And that's probably why uh, these ad type gets a lot of impressions too versus other, other, other ads. Now, you're familiarized with all of the different self-serve ad units available on Amazon.com. And I wrote here self-serve because there is another platform where you can run different kind, uh, a different kind of ad, ad which is DSP that looks really similar to sponsor display. It's not the same, um, but at least we have now covered everything you can do from uh, Seller Central or the Advertising Console. And that's all for now. Wonderful, thank you so much. That was a really, that was a really great rundown of you know, everything that Amazon Advertising has to offer. Um, for people that are new, is there, a place to start when it comes to Amazon advertising and in what are maybe what should the thought process be um, when you start you know advertising a, a product um, yeah um, I would definitely start with uh, sponsored products because it's the it's the ad unit that will drive the most traffic to to the listing and I would start with exact match and just uh, five to ten keywords Gotcha. Just because the process, so if, if, we, if we go back in the process, the process of choosing a product, it's really important, right? Then it comes the process of marketing and advertising the product. So what I recommend with someone is just starting out, it's start with an exact match campaign, start with a handful of keywords because you were able to choose, you, you invest so much time in, in picking the right product. Now invest a bit more time in picking those five to 10 keywords you really want to rank on. If, because then you can, we, we, have, we can pull a list of thousands and thousands of keywords, but there are only probably five to 10 keywords that will give you the most, sale, the most sales and that are the most relevant. So I recommend to start with, with those five to 10 keywords, start running, start running exact match campaign, an exact match campaign. And depending on how that's evolving in the next few weeks, then they can add phrase match targeting and then broad match targeting on different campaigns. Got it. So that should sort of be the process. How much time would you recommend that someone give a campaign before they decide to start editing it and, and changing it? 
Good question. Good, good question. Uh, I get, I get this a lot. Uh, first, you have to understand that there is a sales attribution window, and it depends on the product you're selling, right? I was just, I was just analyzing uh, uh, the data we have, we 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 have gathered in a meeting uh, earlier today, and depending on the price of the product, people will make a purchase decision the same day, or a month from now. So it's really hard to tell when it's the right time to actually. Uh, start editing a, editing a campaign, but you don't want to start burning cash the first week you start running ads. So I'll recommend to wait at least 48 to 72 hours. Uh, if you're being too aggressive, like if you started with a $5 bid, which I don't recommend, you will have to check this the, the next day. Uh, but 48 to 72 hours would be uh, a good time to see where the campaigns are at. Another thing you have to consider is that the sales attribution period takes around seven days. Um, and for, for sponsored products and for sponsored brands, it takes 14 days. So you won't see all of the data reflected until, uh, that, until that period of time has been completed. Although most of the time by the next day or the, or the day after, the, after that, you, you will see most of the data already there. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to leave, um, you know, the viewers with in terms of Amazon advertising? Yeah, please start running sponsored brands video ads. <laughs> Video, yeah. So, yeah. no, I, you know, I've heard it both ways. You mentioned that it's really important to get a, a, a good, well made video. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I've had people to say, you know what, not pe enough people are doing it. So, don't spend a ton of money creating this great video. You know, mm -hmm. shoot something low budget and just get it out there because people aren't utilizing this enough. So, um, what, what, what do you think about? I mean, because you mentioned something different. So, is there a reason why you think it needs? to be a good quality video uh, I think I think I should have phrased it differently um, what I meant by a, but what I meant by a good video was uh, a video that's creative that really can get your attention uh, in a few seconds right because you'll see that if you're if you get like I, I always analyze my my personal own behavior right when I'm surfing on Amazon I see a video ad and I probably see the first two seconds and then I scroll down or I clicked on it right um, there was a video that got pretty famous. Uh, uh, I think Destiny published this a couple of months ago, and, and it was a cat like walking in the video, but it was like kind of transparent, so it looked like the cat was actually walking on the Amazon website. <laughs> and it was like really simple to make. It was not like Hollywood production. Yeah. It was like just just the, just the video that would grab your attention to the ad. So my message my message was, uh, or what I meant to send was try to record a video like you can do it at home as long as as long as you are, are meeting Amazon requirements and sizing and everything just make a video that's so creative that will make people click on the ad but I I I I I I'm still encouraging people even though it's been a few months because let's say better AMS is uh, 10 clients four of them are running sponsored brands video ads the other six are not and they are huge brands so uh, for me it's like if only four of four out of ten uh in, in in people that are doing certain amount of sales per month are not doing it how uh, how, how are the how's the data with other people like, like are, are, did they finally ended up trying it or not and uh since it's just one place one placement the more data someone has or the more sales weight someone has the better the better the better uh results they're, they, they're, they might they might be able to get Perfect. Yeah, I think that that's, I think that's really great. Um, so now, you know, not everyone is able to, you know, take out the time to really understand Amazon advertising because it isn't something that you turn on and just sort of walk away. This is something that you have to monitor. You have to stay on top of, you have to make sure you're constantly optimizing and making sure that your ACOS are where you want them to be. Um, because if you don't do a good job monitoring your Amazon advertising, you can easily spend a lot of money <laughs> or burn a lot of money rather. Um, so tell us about Better AMS and what you guys offer in terms of Amazon advertising. Well, we are an Amazon advertising agency. Uh, we are focused on PPC only. Like we only work with sponsored products, sponsored brands, sponsored display. That's what we do. That's what we, that's our sweat, blood and tears 24 seven. 
Uh, and we have come up with a great process to make sure that we segment campaigns the right way. Maybe in a, in a model two or, or in, in a second video, we can talk about campaign structure, but it's really important um, based on the information we got now and with the key research we make, how we structure campaigns. And later on, how we optimize bids to make sure that we get the most of every keyword. So that's that's what we that's what we do at the agency actually. And if you guys would like to know more, you can take a look at our LinkedIn, uh, my profile or Destiny's profile, and our YouTube channel. We're putting a lot more time on on YouTube lately. Wonderful. So um, you had mentioned earlier when we were talking about, you know, having an offer for um, fellow mobile uh, subscribers um, or uh, customers. What um, what can Better AMS do to get them started when it comes to uh, advertising on Amazon? Yeah, you can reach out to me, Gabriel, uh, at betterams.com or in my social. You can find me like Gabriel Caseros uh, and I can run a free audit for you. So that will allow what well, that will allow us to see uh, whether or not you're missing a ton of sales in your advertising or you're bleeding a lot of cash in your advertising. Perfect, Gabriel. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Hila.